there she is. Well, McLean, 97 plus, 155,000. We're doing annual service. We got Kelvin. Kelvin was reading the service manual that I printed out for him. We're gonna start by taking out the igniter. You need an Allen key. Number, uh, I think it's number seven in size. Take that out. We're gonna clean that up. With scratchy paint on the igniter. <clears throat> I got the gas valve and dual venturi off. Gas disconnected. Of course, it's off. We're gonna pull the top plate now of this heat exchanger. Yeah. There's the heat exchanger. Yeah, the two stereo thing are uh, actually are the Moderna and Pfizer, because that's, that's... Yeah, but they're already saying that... Um, that's why they have to be frozen, because, you know... Yeah, but they're also they're saying there's so many uh, allergic effects to it. Mm -hmm. It's uh, something, it's alive on those vaccines, that's why they're, they're frozen out. It's crazy. Below 90 degrees. <laughs> using a brush to clean the inside of the combustion chamber. I got a bucket underneath already, and we're gonna just pour some water down there. Calvin, very carefully. Can you handle that? Yeah, I can make sure we get the phone. <laughs> Take a look at the water down below. Now right, get another bucket. I normally have my uh, pressure washer with me, a little uh, speed clean. But we're just gonna use uh, warm water, pour it down, make sure there's a bucket down below to catch the water coming from the uh, condensate outlet at the bottom. All right. All right, now I got the burner assembly there. I'm gonna examine that. Looks okay. We'll swirl that around in warm water. There's the refractory plate. Looks pretty intact, but we're gonna change it anyway. I'm gonna start by taking out those three screws. One, two, all right, now it's time to change some gaskets. The igniter gasket, this burner gasket. The refractory, we'll put down some, whatchamacallit, RTV silicone. And then the other gasket for the burner. So, Take this one out first, then reinstall it. All right, the burner's back in. That gasket that the burner sits on is back in. The red gasket that holding on that plate is back in. Kevin's gonna take that plate. And we're going to evenly screw this back in. Three screws, look like that.
scrape off that gasket. Maintenance kit for the 97 plus comes with high temperature silicone. So we're gonna put some where it needs to go. Handed mic. Doing it again. Watch out for stray cats. Hold that. Let that sit for a minute. That rests right on top of that top lip right there. We're gonna let that sit for a minute. All right, next is the gas valve inventory gasket, which is that guy right there. There's the new one. Take that one off, Kelvin. Let's take the gasket off. place it looks nice and clean all right Kelvin now let's get rid of the screw Why don't you hold the phone, Kelvin? Oh, you're still playing. All right, that's right there. I'm gonna line this bad boy up. All right. There. I'm gonna put the screws back in. Be very, very careful with that with that washer. Where's my other screw? There it is. Okay, now that's back in. All right, now we're gonna take the burner assembly, put that back down in there. and then secure the burner plate back down.
Saving the best for last. That's the one back there. Let me get the, um, what's it called? A little, uh, little channel lock. Truck. Right here. Okay. Hopefully. 
put that on later. Okay. So make sure you don't lose it. <laughs> Test those set up. Oh, yeah, turn that back on, please. Thank you. Alright, all right, we finished up the combustion test. In case you guys are wondering why I used to fill in the hole, it's one of those guys. Where's the printout? Right so. Did have a high amount of CO2 percentage, which we brought down to 9.35. And right now we're using uh, the Sentinel Quick Test to make sure we have enough inhibitor in the system. It's pretty, I think it's plenty. I'm not gonna suggest adding this year.